Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Something different today. You ever mail letters, pictures of cars to your friends, and ah, the stamp's got a bird on it or something, and you, you know, it's always something, a tree, some former president. Well, now you can get stamps with your favorite muscle cars on them. I'm here with uh, the Postmaster General of the United States, Pat Donahue, and Tom Fritz, uh, an acclaimed artist. You've seen his work in a lot of automotive publications, motorcycle as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you are now issuing muscle car stamps, is that correct? Yes, we are. And uh, here's the whole set here. I think this is really cool. How did this come about? Well, we've been doing car sets. This is the third. We mm -hmm. had um, sporty cars of the 50s, then we had uh, fins of the 50s, and then muscle cars, and that's cars from the 60s. Which is the most popular so far? Um, this one by far. The muscle cars. The muscle. And they're all American-made vehicles, All American-made. How many stamps would you print in a run of something like this? We'd probably do 20 million of those. 20 million? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Is, is it like books? Is that like a first printing? It's one run and done and we do those on what we call sheets so uh, you've got that sheet with the five stamps on it when people buy a sheet of these stamps for example and they know oh there's only 20 million of these out there do you then is it sort of not kosher to do another 20 million or do you just move on to something else well, what we'll probably do jay is another another uh, topic so we're thinking trucks something oh, like that there's okay. been a lot of interest and um you know, they're forever stamps, so you can use them forever. So what people are doing, they're coming in and buying 100, 200 sheets, and they'll use them, you know, for the next four or five years. Oh, I see. Very good. So you got to go out and get them now, because they, although 20 million is a lot, it goes they're selling pretty quickly. Fast. Yeah, selling fast. Yeah. And Tom Fritz, of course, it's quite an honor to be chosen as artist for uh, a stamp for the United States. You know, if you're doing the yes, president, people might be more impressed, but I'm more impressed that you're doing the muscle cars and things like that. Who... Who chose the cards? We, did you choose them? No, it, it was assigned uh, by the post office. Okay. Post and, and how did they know about you? Well, those of us in the automotive world, we know about you. I know you did, I think you did the Harley, the Harley calendars, right? Mm -hmm. And a number of other things. How, now, how were you chosen for this job? Well, uh, one of the previous artists in the series, Art Fitzpatrick. Oh, I know him. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, he did the previous two, the uh, uh, Fins of the 50s right. and Sporty Cars. They were looking towards having him do the muscle cars, and Art is getting along in years, right. and he didn't feel he was up to doing a third series. Okay. And so someone at the uh, Postal Service asked him if he could recommend someone. And we he, need somebody with the name Fitz in their name. Right. So you were the next Fitz to come <laughs> yeah. along. Uh, well, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Well, yeah. you've done a beautiful job. I mean, Thank you. I would hang these in my garage just as wall hangings or, or, or paintings. Thank you. Um, they almost look like photographs, really. How long does it take you to do a, a car painting like the, like the Chevelle, for example? I can say that all five of these paintings were done in a month. Wow, that's, that's pretty it, quick. It, it went pretty quick. Okay. Uh, of course, the paintings were very small. They were about 11 by 18 inches. Okay. You don't need much painting to make a postage stamp. And this is the actual car that, that is in the Shelby one, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's pretty cool for the owner. How, how was he chosen? My understanding was there was a committee at the uh, Postal Service of muscle car experts okay. that went out and selected the vehicles and uh, also did all the cross checks and double checks on my paintings to make sure that everything was correct. Now what does the Postmaster General of the United States drive? 2013 Chevy Suburban. Oh, very a, good. A, 20, a 2007 Corvette and a oh. 66 Corvette. Oh, very good. A 60, oh, there. Yep. So you are a true, uh, true. Yes, owner. sir. When you said sporty cars of the 50s, I went, hmm, that made a little suspect. But now I know you're a real car guy. <laughs> yes. Which uh, model do you have? It's a Roadster, silver, black top. <laughs> yep. You're Pretty in the car. club. Pretty car. Yeah, yes. That's very cool. Yep. We have a group. It's called Citizen Stamp Advisory committee and it's a group of Americans from all walks of life and they actually pick the stamps. We I get see. requests in and like Tom said what happens is uh, somebody had recommended muscle cars and we put a group of people together and they picked five out. Of course you have people complaining that you know where's the AMC you should have had a Plymouth blah 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 right, that kind right. of stuff. But is there any rule to that? Must it be a car no longer in production so it doesn't look like advertising? No, no, no. Okay. We've, uh, we've, we've We've tried to do the, the cars that are popular with people. Right, right. And which of these muscle cars is the most popular? I would vote for the Chevelle. I don't know, Tom, what would you vote Tom, for? Tom, what do you like? I'm, I'm an artist. They're all the same to me. Then I'll oh, <laughs> no, it's whatever slaps you in the out. seat. <laughs> They're all the same to me. What is that? It's the one that pushes you back in the oh, seat the hardest. Oh, man. And what are you driving? I'm afraid to ask. I'm going to hear a cord wagon. What do you have? 
No, um, my grocery getter is a Toyota pickup. Uh -huh. But I've got a 56 GMC pickup that I've had since I was 17. Oh, good. And, and only two payments it. left, and it's yours. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you go. Well, that's pretty good. That's you know what good. car will be, or what truck will be in the truck stamps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I imagine you could do another series of part two. There are other sure. muscle cars. You Absolutely. mentioned AMC and yeah. some of the other cars yeah. as well. Yeah. And what drove you to automotive paintings? I was born with the passion. Right. My father would work on the uh, 56 Chevy and the the 50 Ford Woody in the in the uh, garage every right. weekend, and you just love the smell of the uh, the oils and the gases and the, sure. the sound of the uh, wrenches dropping. What do you like to paint from? A photograph, or do you actually sit in front of the real car? No, I, I like to work from photographs. I, okay. I can't get the cars in the studio; it's too small. Well, yeah, well that would make sense. But yeah. if you look at my body of work, I pose people around the cars a lot. There's a little bit of uh, stories that go on around the vehicles, and that's right. what interests me. I'm looking close. I can't see. Does the artist sign these? I wasn't allowed to on the face of the uh, image, but on the back of the uh, painting is my signature. Oh, okay, but not on the actual stamp itself? No. Oh, okay. Now, what do you have here? Are these cars that were the, down? No, these are, the, these are the initial sketches, and I did them on tissue, and rather quickly, but... There are three or four of each of the cars on there. And from those sketches, the photographers went out and found the vehicles and photographed the cars. Now, why tissue rather than a piece of paper? When I draw on tissue, if I don't like the car facing left, I can flip it and I can see the car facing right. Oh, okay. And that way I can build, I can not only design for the stamp, but I can design for the, the oh, whole series cool. of stamps. These are artwork in their own right to me. These are cool enough to to hang on the wall. Once the photographers went out and found the cars, they posed the cars to kind of match my sketches. I see. And these are the actual photographs that I used to paint the, uh, okay. the stamps. Here's the GTO. If you notice, the GTO has a bottle jack under the uh, oh, yeah, driver's I door. Oh, yeah, I see the bottle jack. And that's yeah. to get it to lay over yeah. like it was torquing. There's the Chevelle. Now, uh, now, obviously, you've changed the colors on the car. Yes. Because uh, those colors, what, best show up I went, I went for the emotive quality in the, uh, the yeah. paintings. Now here it is, it's red, the actual car, as the car is behind me. But in the stamp, you can see it's blue with the white stripes. Dumb question, is that a Ford color or is that your blue? No, that's the Acapulco blue. And across the Charger, I think you did a good job. Right choice at the Charger, I don't care for this color combination. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you did, of course, what do they call it? Lime, or lim limelight. Limelight green, some goofball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had all those psychedelic colors back in the day. Yeah, the, the sassy grass was the green. You notice that that's the image that they supplied me, but the image of the uh, Hemikuta is, is reversed. Flat. Yeah, I see, that, okay. That's yeah. where it came off of my uh, sketches. Now, does being Postmaster General get you out of tickets? Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had that experience. <laughs> no, no, okay. But the people come up to you, I got a letter. Can you make sure it gets there a little bit? Oh, I get that, absolutely. Yeah. Now, the post office is a separate entity from the United States government, correct? Or no. no? We're, part of the federal, we're part of the executive branch of the federal government. Oh, I, but isn't it, is it funded differently? It's not. We're self-funded, no tax money. That's no. what I'm saying. That's right. what it is. Because people always think, oh, the post office, it's costing us a fortune, but it's self-funded, self correct? Yep. So yep. it doesn't take any no taxpayer tax dollar. Yep. So there, so stop your whining and complaining. Thank there you. you go right there. Well, this is really very cool. I am going to mail some letters with these stamps good. on. Finally, stamps that uh, I feel represent what I'm trying to say. Good. So that's very good. I, you know, the little bird ones are nice and the, the people I never heard of, but the muscle car ones are great. Tom, thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. And Postmaster General of the United States. I love saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very, Appreciate very impressive you. title. You. Seems like you should have epaulets or uh, something. Yeah, yeah you got to. Didn't they used to have uh, that? Uh, Some kind maybe at one time. Yeah, I think it was epaulets <laughs> and you had the hat, the whole deal. This undercover thing, I don't know. That's right. But thank you very much. Thank very, you. very cool. So go to the post office. Get a set of these stamps. Get a sheet of them and put them on your wall in the garage. They look great.